Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm glad you can join me. So today I have my October makeup basket. And since this is my second makeup basket, I did want to ask you guys, do you guys want to watch like what everything in my basket is, even though it's like repeated stuff, some stuff might be <laughs> repeated from last month, or do you guys just want to see um, what's changing and me talk about it? Oh shoot, I just dropped my mascara. Oh, no, not my mascara, my foundation. Um, so yeah, let me know what type of um, type of updates you'd like because I'm really just switching some stuff out. A lot of my year-long project pan or project pan items are still in the makeup basket because again, I'm trying to use them up, but some stuff did change. So yeah, just let me know because I'm not quite too sure. But I'm just going to pick up my foundation and then we're just going to jump right in into my makeup basket. Alright, so one of the foundations I am adding in is going to be my Lancome Tint Idol Wear. I am switching this out for my It Cosmetics CC Cream in Fair just because this is a lighter foundation and um, just if I want my makeup or my foundation to be a little more set um that's why i'm putting this in to mix in with like a darker foundation just because on its own it's a little too light but i found that i just had super dewy foundations in my last makeup basket which was fine for summer but as we're getting into like fall and winter um you know i want to have the option to like matte it up a little bit so that's why i'm putting her in um and i really do really really do love this foundation it's actually my second bottle I'm just going to put this back there because my makeup basket's overflowing. I still have, again, my um, It Cosmetics CC Cream in Medium. This is kind of um, my mixture shade just because my tan is slowly starting to go away. I did not upkeep it, which is good because you're not supposed to be in the sun that much. So um, I kind of customized my foundation shade with this depending on what my skin is looking like um but yeah still like this and it has like spf 50. it's not my only form of spf but you know it's good to know that there's like a little extra something in this one i still have my eve's rocher pure light moisturizing nude foundation and i kind of don't like this i've been wearing this to work it's my work foundation but like it's very oh sorry i just hit the camera it's very finicky um you know I bought it to try it. I will use this up because this only has like a six month like shelf life and like oh, yesterday or two nights ago I accidentally spilled this and I got all over the carpet so that's why there's a lot of progress. It would have been like only halfway but that's because I spilled it that it has an extra little half so that was really annoying I mean the carpet's brown so I got most of it out and like whatever's left kind of blends in with the carpet but um, that was unfortunate. And I have to really be careful with uh, what moisturizer I'm using because the studs tend to like pill up and that's not okay. So, I mean, I, you can't even buy Eve's Rocher in the USA, but those are my little thoughts on that. Um, I am adding a couple of concealers just because I found that like I had to reach for concealers because it wasn't in my makeup basket. So the first one I'm adding in is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in NC20. I've had this for a couple years now. I've really been neglecting it so it's really time to use it up just because it still works but it doesn't got that much light. It doesn't have that much life left. I was trying to say it in a silly way but it didn't really work out. Um, so yeah, I just want to focus on using her up. Um, that way I can back to market and have it out of my collection and not have my money go to waste by, you know, just letting it go bad. Um, the other concealer I have is still the same. It's the Master Concealer by Maybelline. This is in the shade Fair. I don't use this for on my face. It's a little too thick because of the age. So I do use it as like a primer when I go to work. <laughs> But I don't try to use it on an everyday basis. I only use it for work purposes. Um, so she's slow going, but she's still in here. And for underneath my eyes, if I feel like I need one, I do have my YSL Touche Clot. It's perfect for underneath the eyes or like if I'm just going to go run errands and I feel like I need that little extra help. This is really nice. It's like a nice light coverage concealer um, that I really enjoy using. Alright, so in the sense of setting powders, I do have a couple. I still have my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I feel like I can finish this up in the month of October because there's not that much left. Um, so that's exciting to get like powder out of my collection. It's not setting very well with um, either the Wyatt 
no not the YSL the Yves Rocher foundation or my a cosmetic CC cream it just looks a little too powdery so I'm hoping that with it being a little less dewy it doesn't just sit on top of my face if not I'll just use it to set that primer for um, or set the concealer for the primer because I'm almost out of the powder that I was using it for so this I sorry there's like a gross thing I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see but there's just a teeny tiny little bit left of powder I'm really just scraping this and this was the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder and I was just using this to set that um, primer because I don't find that it really goes well um, or that the formulation of like the contour kit which I got back by the way which I am including so um, I bought this with my own money and I did not like it so then I ended up decluttering it and giving to my friend she had it for like a year or two and she wasn't using it and I was like you know what I spent my money on it if you're not gonna use it like maybe I should use it and she didn't really have a problem with it she's like yeah I like go for it, it was yours um, I didn't really say it like that because that sounded rude so as you can see the banana shade is missing and that's what that was and I think I'm really only gonna focus on the top two because the contours I remember they looked really patchy on me and probably because of the age it's not gonna look that great so um, the next one after I finish the banana powder and after I finish the Dermablend concealer, I'm gonna uh, use this one as a setting powder for my concealer as a primer. And then I'll just use the highlighter when I'm not using my project pan ones. So, glad I got that back because I spent my money and it was like, you know, I thought she was gonna use it and she didn't. So, I'm gonna try to get my own money's worth out of it now. Um, for eyeshadows, I did switch out, um, a couple of things, but I'll, I'll include it. Um, so, I still have my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Um, there's one eyeshadow in here that's almost done. And while I'm still using that up, I have, I'm still gonna have this one. This was, like, my MAC quad that I make, because I'm using this shade as a transition shade, because buff is just too dark for me, and I already finished up naked. So, while I'm using up the shade, I'm going to be using this, but as soon as that one's gone, I'm going to put this back into my collection, and I'm actually going to be using my MAC Nutcracker Sweet Warm Eye Compact, which kind of looks like this. I got this about two Christmases ago. Oh, sorry. Let me, I don't even... Okay, which I got two Christmases ago, and it's not, like, quite my favorite. Um, it does... It is very fall-like, which is why I am putting it in. Um, there's just like not enough mattes. Um, some of them are chunky, then like the last three are too dark. But, you know, the other ones that, basically the other five eyeshadows that don't fall into that category um, are nice. And I want to get my uses out of it because I haven't been giving this some love. So that's why I'm putting this in for my October makeup basket since it has a very fall um, palette and then the last eyeshadow single eyeshadow that I'm putting in is the MAC eyeshadow in Rue and it's just an orangey matte just to go along with my palette. I believe everything else is project pan items or stuff that was in my last makeup basket so I'm just going to quickly go through them real quick um, just so you're not too bored um, if you already remember the products and you can probably X out but if you want to see keep on watching so I still have my Chanel Tan de Soleil bronzer just because it's gorgeous on I love and I love using it I'm still enjoy it and it's not really a product I'm getting sick of I also have my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer um, again project pan item a lot of these are so I'm so sorry I have my uh, Color Pop Birthday Suit Blush. Uh, you can see my progress in that, but that's okay. Actually, my next video is going to be my finish 18 in 2018, but I've been prolonging, like, uh, filming that video because I'm almost done with a couple of the items. So I'm like, oh, I want to have them done for the update, but I think I'm going to give myself the rest of the weekend that I had to film it, so I better use it up. I forgot to take this out, but just to mention, I am going to take the um, Super Shock Cheek and Smoking Whistles. I didn't really use it. Um, in September because I'm using one of the eyeshadows and the naked palette as my highlight so I'm just gonna I'm taking this out I just forgot that it was still in here so not bad I still have my cargo blush in Bali 
she's a nice pretty pink it's actually what i have i took my blush up like super high today just because i wanted to see like the difference that it made like you know they say like oh you look so like it's cutesy because it's like sunburn in the sun and da, da 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 but you're not actually sunburn um how do i feel about it i think i wouldn't do it with the bali blush specifically just because it's like it has like a very like highlighty aspect to it um so if i'm putting it right here it's highlighting a lot more than i want so i might try it with the matte blush eventually but i do kind of like it i feel like it makes me look more youthful not that i need to look any more youthful because <laughs> i know i look young i'm 22 i know that's young but people always say now it's like they say i look like i'm at least 18 but before i was like a 16 year old for life Okay, <laughs> moving on, when I do want to wear an actual eyeshadow primer, I'm using my Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. She's been kicking it for a while. Um, I feel like she will be done by the end of the year because there's just so much, but also not a lot left. So it's weird. It's a weird way how primers work. There's a little ep leprechaun that like fills it at the end of the night. Once you're asleep, that's my theory. And... Who needs evidence to back it up because we've all been there. I still have my two Anastasia Dip Brow Pomades for my eyebrows. Bleh, bleh, for my eyebrows. Um, I have two like setting for my brows. I have my Anastasia uh, Clear Brow Gel and I have this Milani uh, Eyebrow Wax. I'm going to try to use this up by the end of the year. Um, but also using this because my problem is sometimes I'll focus on this and then this dries up. So... I try to use them interchangeably, um, so I get my use out of both, but I do want to try to use this up by the end of the year, just because I have my liquid liner, just in case if I need it. It's from NYX. It's the matte liquid eyeliner. And then last but not least, um, I haven't cracked into my Benefit Roller Lash. These are my only two mascaras that I have left. Um, still working on my It Cosmetics Superhero. It kind of looks like it'll reach its end in October, and then I can bust into this one. But yeah, that is everything I have in my makeup basket, and I hear the UPS guy. That is everything I have in my makeup basket for October. Again, let me know how would you prefer the updates down below, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!